For this step, I'm using a Forster Benchrest Cedar die. I've removed the seating stem and the seating spring, as you can see here. And what I want to do is prevent the cedar sleeve from moving because when it moves, you get inconsistent necking results. So what I'm going to do is put a plug in the cap and then screw the cap back on. I'm using a one inch length of half inch dowel because that's what I had around. If you don't have that, you can use about 15 pennies and that will do the same thing for you. All right, and then screw this die back together, put it in. Okay, now the cap's on snug and the cedar die sleeve does not move. It's exactly what you want. That will make your process a lot more consistent. All right, now when you're using a standard shell holder and you put a 6BR case in to be reduced to 22BR, this won't go up high enough into the die to do the entire neck. It might do about a third of it or half of it. So I came up with a little homemade solution by taking apart a refrigerator magnet, putting that in my case holder, and then I cut apart a steel rule put that on top of the magnet to hold it in place and I drew a circle on it. That allows me to center my case for this process. All right, so with my die already adjusted, I'm ready to start. I have three cases here with the necks already lubed. First case, I'm gonna run up into the die. And then it's gonna stick. So you just reach under with your thumbnail and pull it down. And there you go. Practically the entire neck is resized. There's just one little spot above the shoulder. And uh, first time you fire this, that will be gone and you'll never see it again. All right, so that's the homemade solution. I also have a more professional solution. And um, I had a machinist friend make a lifter. Um, case holder for me so I don't have to keep trying to position the shell in a circle every time. So I snap the case holder in, put another case in, it fits right in the center and up I go, run it in, pull it back out and there you go, same result. Okay and then one more, third case, up and in, Just grab it with your thumbnail and that's a good start okay and that's it when you're done with the cases just wipe off the case lube and you're ready for the next step